you will. <clears throat> and then here's the real first aid. I, yeah, I've got a lot of faith and just on my journey and my path in general. So my first aid is pretty minimal. I've got some tape, some band-aids and some gauze. Um, I'm very healthy and yeah, overall just trying to be aware more and more. So yeah, I'm not preparing too much for uh, in case something bad happens. I think I'll be able to handle whatever I need to handle in the time that it ha happens. That's just my personal philosophy. Uh, if you feel more comfortable with a larger first aid kit, by all means, do it up. Compass. Okay. It's nice to know where north is headed or where any direction is headed. Okay, this is kind of the, the stationary bag. Nighttime bag. It's got my sleeping mask and some earplugs. Uh, if you're in, if I'm in a hostel or something with a bunch of people, it's nice to have. Pencil, pen, Kindle. I really enjoy reading while out on the trail. Um, and this holds a lot of different books. So, Kindle. I have some markers here, some metallic markers to draw on my backpack or whatever. Uh, definitely a luxury item, uh, but I enjoy it. So again, I've been living out of a backpack for a long time, so I'm not just taking bare minimum essentials. This is, this is me living. This is my home. So I've got things that you might not need for a through hike. I mean, I brought a lot of these for a through hike, but, or international travel, but I'm not giving up a lot of things that I enjoy. And what I do enjoy is very simple, so I feel like I can carry it. I'm happy to. Uh, a journal. I'm bringing two of these actually. One for um, just like a living journal, and the other one will be a dream journal. Because dreams are rad. Some postcards that a friend gave me. Shout out to Michelle Roldenshaw. She draws these, uh, paints these pictures, and then puts them on postcards. Uh, they're mostly pictures about the Buddha, which is pretty sweet. And oh, this is a picture of my mom and I. I love this picture. I just bring it to for some happy, happy love memories. She's great. And then some tarot cards. I like using tarot. Uh, even just for real practical reasons, uh, you can use them as playing cards, just take out the major arcana cards. But I use them to just get some insight and clarity um, about some decisions I'm making. Uh, I find that they speak to a different part of my psyche, a more archetypal part of my mind, uh, using the these very ancient symbols. So this is everyday tarot's tarot deck. Pretty sweet deck. Okay, move forward here. Let's dig deep. Oh, puffy. Alright, so this is a, just a standard alpine down puffy. I've had this since 2015 and it has been in the ringer. Montbell. But you know, it's... I was pushed by my dad to get a new one, uh, but I didn't end up getting a new one. I just... The attachment is too strong and it's lost a significant amount of its loft, and I know it's there are better jackets that can keep me warm, uh, newer jackets, but I just I've got a, a good layering system, and I don't think I'm going to need anything too heavy. I'm going to the Himalayas in the kind of the middle, uh, not middle of summer, but summertime, so I think I'll be okay. Uh, pullover layer, Buffalo Systems. This is a great pullover. It's got fleece lined on the inside. You can open, I can open the, the sides for ventilation. There's a whole big chest pouch here, hood, helmet. I can have a helmet on too and it'll fit. So yeah, that's outer layer. Let's see. Okay, pod two. This is my closet. Let's see. Yeah. 
beanie, Patagonia beanie, recycled wool. Yeah, Patagonia. Uh, icebreaker wool shirt. Got it at a thrift store for three dollars. And if you've ever bought any icebreaker clothing, then you know that that's a great deal. That is a great deal. Uh, yeah, I can't. I don't really buy clothes unless they're not on sale and if I'm going to buy new clothes at all. But this is a wool icebreaker, close to the skin, breathable. This will be... I like to have a pair of clothes that I work in, hike in, and do activity in, and then a pair of clothes that I keep pretty clean and just sleep in. Or if I have a rest day, then I can be in those. Uh, so really just two... Two outfits with some different layers. Yeah. Uh, wool leggings, Wool X. Wool X is a very affordable merino wool company. Wool X. Yeah, I love these. Uh, I like these, these leggings because they've got the cuff at the bottom too. So. Uh, Gossamer Gear shirt. Yeah, they. They've done such a great job of supporting me. Um, I want to make sure that some people hear about them. They've got a pretty sweet crew over there in Austin making some fine goods and they operate under a motto, uh, take less, do more. So yeah, that's a, that's a motto I'm behind being a general minimalist and backpacker. Uh, some smart wool. Glove liners, these are just little glove liners. Yeah. Like fit under the fleece glove liners, or the gloves as well. Some socks, some darn tough socks. Uh, a buff, it's a shoot. Icebreaker wool, shoot. I really enjoy wool. Um, smart wool boxers. Bamboo boxers. Some more socks, some smart wool socks, some board shorts. These are just great because they're pretty lightweight and they dry fast. And I plan on doing a lot of swimming. Um, I, I like to be without any of these when I'm swimming, but if it's in an area that is a little more public, then I'll wear some shorts. Some pants, some Prana pants. These are just stretch Zion Prana pants. Highly recommend these. Um, these have been through the ringer and they've, they've served me really well. So, got some other layers here, just what I'm wearing on the airport. But long sleeve, wool, Vormi. They're a USA company uh, out of Colorado. Making some good stuff over there. Uh, some more Prana pants, so I'm taking two pairs of pants. Um, I'm not sure if I'm taking these yet or a different pair of pants, but yeah, there will be two pairs of Prada pants. And some more underwear, some icebreaker underwear, smart wool socks, and a word about shoes. So, taking these, these are the Ultra Timps 1.5, and they're an outdoor shoe. Um, yeah, I. I, I enjoy wearing ultras because they've got a wider toe box and if you plan on hiking a lot uh, I find the wider toe box to to be essential because the foot tends to splay out as you walk more it might even elongate as the bones start to just your skeletal system starts to really splay out and that takes some time and it's kind of painful but this eases that and it's got some good cushion the durability of ultras is questionable. Um, I mean, you can wear them, but I'm hoping to at least get five to seven hundred miles out of these. Um, we'll see. We'll see. And it has a gator trap back here for the gators. So yes, I have a rain jacket, but it's not here. It's on the way. It's getting shipped. That was from Hightail Designs. They make a nice uh, Dyneema rain jacket, and it's it's cheaper than some of its competitors, and it's got some cool colors. 
So other than that, I mean, there's probably a couple things I missed, but that's, that's it. That's what I'm taking. Oh, I don't know. let's check my hip pockets out here. Notebook, small notebook, accessible uh, at all times. You just never know when a burst of creativity is going to come or something you forgot to do and I want to write it down, make sure I remember. And then in this pocket, what do we have here? Hanky, handkerchief, just a bandana, and headlamp. Petzl, Tequina, it's just a standard three, three setting headlamp. So that is it. I hope this helped you in some way, shape, or form. Um, but that's my home. Thanks for coming into it. And I plan on documenting more and more of this trip and being more and more vulnerable with y'all um, about the hardships and the pleasantries of the trip. Uh, it's something I'm, I'd like to get more used to is, is being on video. So yeah, I appreciate you joining me here and I'm just going to keep improving. So if you like what you see, feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel, Common Man. And I also have a blog and Instagram that I will link below as well. Okay, much love to y'all. I will see you on the flip side. Ciao, ciao.